You drive. You drive the car. No, you drive. I drive. Don't act like that. Yeah. You don't know what to say. Drive the car. What is that? You got Sorry. another car? Happy birthday. No way. Yeah. Why? Why did you buy me a car? Why would you do this, John? Yeah, so now you don't have to ride in the rain or the snow or... Wow. I don't know what to say. What's going on, guys? So this video is a little bit different. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that watches the the videos that I make because if you if you didn't I wouldn't have been able to do this and uh, I don't normally talk about it on my channel but my dad was laid off his job a couple of years ago and he lost everything you know I lost lost the house I grew up in and a bunch of his like, favorite personal belongings that he just had to you know give up and um, I was already here in Utah so I gave them my savings and I was like you know what come over here live in Utah with me and uh, we'll give you we'll get you a second chance see if we can get you back up on your feet and um, I always talk about how I, I'll, I'm, I'm always willing to work three four five six jobs I don't care how many it takes I just always want to you know be able be able to live and that's more of a, a recent development um, because I, I've seen that and I've experienced it now so it's a weird feeling you know when you grow up and you're like oh if stuff doesn't work out I can always go back home you know <laughs> I don't have that anymore since then uh, I've been working and supporting my parents while they've uh, tried to get back up on their feet. But the thing is, my dad is a mechanical engineer. Well, he's six, he's six months away from a mechanical engineering degree, um, but then I was born. So he had to drop out and take care of me. So the company he was working at, he started off as a technician, right? And he worked all the way up to like regional field engineer. But without a degree, you can't really transfer that anywhere. And so basically my whole life he worked at that company and then he got laid off, so he can't, you know, it, it's, been, it's been tough for him to find a job and the, the car that they had when they came over was, was totaled and basically he, he found a bike. This is how he commutes to work. He, he, he found a bike at the thrift shop. He bought that for, I don't know, a few dollars and then he found some engine parts in a dumpster and he wired it all together and he made a motorcycle out of it. And so like the wheel is all squirrely and, but he's the smartest man I know. Uh, he's the most hardest working person I know and he's taught me like mental toughness and I have a lot of respect for him. He can make anything work. He can fix anything, he can design anything, he can build anything. Um, I have the mechanical engineering degree but I can't do 10% of what he can do. Um, so anyways, that's how he's been commuting from work and um, it, just, it just amazes me that he, he was able to put that all together with just stuff that he's found. It was like that scene in Iron Man where he puts the suit together and it's just like, all right, I'll make this work. Like, that was my dad. Um, and so finally, uh, because of this, because I've made money off of YouTube, I took the money that I made and I matched it. And I was like, you know what? Now I can finally afford to get them another car. So there was only just the one motorized Huffy bicycle. You'll see it in the video. Um, and I really wanted to, to get him another car. And it turns out this wasn't part of the plan or anything, but it turns out the car that we actually found was the car that was given to me, my very first car, the same, same model, it was a Ford Taurus. Um, and that was the car that I found that I could afford and that I, get, that I gave him, which helped me, you know, because I went to the, the dealership and I know what to look for, know what to check, because when you're given that at 16, like that was my baby. That was like the, one of the only cars I ever worked on. So I know like the ins and outs of a Ford Taurus, but anything else, I got nothing. So it was just kind of strange how that worked out. Um, you'll, you'll see that in the video. My dad's not a very emotional man. He's pretty, Stoic, I would say. Um, so the response that you get is, um, it's not tears, but uh, knowing my dad growing up with him, uh, I can see the appreciation. And I just wanted to say thank you again and, and show you guys how grateful he is. Uh, and he says thank you to me and I say thank you to you because without this, I, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. So without this being too much of a sob story, I have one request if you do know someone in Salt Lake City um, looking for a mechanical engineer or a fabricator designer. My dad's your man. Send me a message and I'll let him know. Yeah, he has a job and he pays the bills that he can with his uh, thrift store job, but you know, it's not engaging for his mind. He likes building and tinkering and engineering and he's applied to jobs around here, but just, um, you know, he doesn't have the degree and he's 55, so it's been, it's been tough, but you know, uh, he's the smartest guy I know and I'll support him however long it takes. So. With that said, let me just say I'm infinitely grateful for everything and I don't mean to seem that this is 
you know, I'm like YouTube rich or it's going to my head, but I always talk about how I want to help people. But in this case, you guys have helped me, helped my family. And um, I'm very grateful for that. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video. Why do you say it's just, why do you say it's just another day? It's just another day, Josh. No, it's not. I mean, you made it, you made it one more year. Oh, lucky me. I don't have shit to show for. <laughs> Taking up space in the world. Yeah, I wasn't, I'm not feeling great today. It's been a long, long week, so. Yeah. Uh, it's been, been a long week. Yeah. What happens, I guess, when you become a senior citizen, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got 10 more to fully qualify for that. I know, thanks again. Yep, happy birthday. Okay. Yep. Okay. Hi, where are you at? Um, why? You're not on secret though. No. Can you please walk into another room? Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm gonna tell you the plan, alright? I'm gonna come pick, pick you up as a birth... Soon. And then as a birthday gift, we're gonna go buy a car. Okay? Are you with me? Yeah. And then we're gonna drive it back. But I need another person. Okay. You're that person. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of in shock, Joshua. I'm in shock to cry. I, I want to do this for you guys. I made... I have a YouTube, right? And I made some money off of it recently. And I can put that in my savings account, sure. Um, but it changes your entire life, so... It's better served if I give it to you, okay? Wow, Josh, thank you so much. I don't know what to say, I'm just so overwhelmed. Wow. Are you sure this is what you want to do? It's his birthday, yeah. Sure. I know it's his birthday, but it's just another day. He's had a hard, hard couple years, right? So, we just, just take it, okay? Okay. Wow, Joshua, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. I really am. I just want to help. Just tell tell him that I'm gonna take you to come see the house. Oh, okay. All right, gotcha. Okay, sounds good to me. All right, I'll see you a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so currently the plan is that I'm gonna go pick up my mom, and we're gonna go get the car. And then we're going to come back. I haven't researched a car. I haven't um, looked at places yet. We're just going to go. We're just going to go pick one out. And um, then we're going to we're going to bring it back. So I need her to be the second driver uh, of the second car. And um, that, that that's the plan right now. So I'm just about to head out. I, I probably should have planned this out, but I have to do it. <laughs> I have to I have to do this for my parents. Um, you know, they raised me so best I can do for them. He rides his little bike down every day. Uh, no, no, it yeah, it's on. Hi. Where's that bike at? Bella. Bella. Goodbye. Hi mom. I don't want one. How did you how did you build this? Oh you see it. Can we get a, can we get a demo? Right now? Yeah, right now. I need a demo of this. Yeah, why, why don't you build Iron Man suits? <laughs> I don't have his his uh, machine shop. Tony Stark has a quite an impressive machine shop. How fast does it go? Uh, almost 40. Almost 40? Yeah. So that's the turbo? That's my turbo. Gives it extra air. Hopefully. And what is it made of? A computer fan. A computer fan? <laughs> so that just, is that just going to spin while you ride and... It's battery powered. So you got headlights that are battery powered. Okay. And the tail light, battery powered. Okay. Battery box, battery. Yeah? And the turbo will run off the battery too. Yeah. I did all the artwork, of course. Did you really? <laughs> yes. 
Did you for real? Yeah. It's called the Roadrunner. I did. Yeah. Have you? Have people been giving you some funny looks? No, actually, all I got is compliments about it. That's pretty cool. Are you sure you don't want to go? You good? good. All right. You want them to go? It's fine. We'll go. It's fine. I'll just bring you back some food or something. All right. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Okay. It must be closed. No, it says. Hello. Hi, um, I was just calling to see what your used inventory looks like. No, we don't have any of those spices. I did. And it repeated. <laughs> hey, um, I was just wondering what kind of used inventory you had. Yeah, we don't, um, yeah, I got nothing like that, brother. Mm. Do you know of uh, some place that would be in that range? No, I, I have no, I, I know a lot of people in town, I've worked at a couple of dealerships. Oh, yeah. All we need is something to get you from A to B. That's it. That's what I got when I turned 16. A to B. Okay, so we just called and we found one. So we're gonna go jump on that. 10 minutes away. Um, so let's go ahead, hit that start navigation. Um, today is the first day in a long time I've had to put my mechanical engineering degree to use. All right, so we just pulled in the driveway. Let's see what he says. We're gonna go in, we're gonna tell him like how, what do you think of the house, and you just say, yeah, it was good, all that stuff. And then I'll be like, all right, well, let's go get some lunch. We want some In-N-Out, and then, yeah? We're gonna go get In-N-Out. You want In-N-Out for your birthday? I don't know. You can just bring it here. Let's go, fam. You wanna just bring it here? No. You drive. You can drive the car. No, you drive. I drive. Don't act like that. Yeah. He don't know what to say. Drive the car. What is that? You so got another car? Happy birthday. No way. Yeah. Why? Why do you mind me a car? Wow. It's what we got, it's Josh, when he was 16. Why would you do this, Josh? Yeah, so now you don't have to ride in the rain or the snow or... Wow. I don't know what to say. I remember the day that you got me my green Ford Taurus, and I remember exactly what you looked at. And I checked everything you checked. Happy, happy 55! Wow. wow. It's been a while, huh? Wow, this is so nice. I don't know what to say. Power seats too. Wow. It's so clean. I'm just amazed how, how clean it is. Mm-hmm. Do you want a hug? Sure. You need a hug? You hug? Thank you. You're welcome. No, I know, but you kept saying that it's just another day, but it's not. You're not. You're my pops. See, he does gotta, love you. Gotta love the pops. Don't you love the sun? Yeah. Wow, thank you. Sure. Anyways, we want to go get some lunch. Wow. Okay, well, let's go. 